Previously on Camp Bennett. Hey! You gonna spend a lot of time out there in the practice field. Might score one, you might not. But when you do, you are very excited. There is no shortcuts to a national championship. Hey, have y'all ever seen the size of those national championship rings? Have y'all ever seen one? They're unbelievable. <coughs> unbelievable. But you gotta work to get it. They don't just hand them suckers out. Oh, oh, oh. oh Lord. Cause he's wasting a lot of energy jiggling. This ain't toast at a coast, son! This level right now, I feel like a young rookie. Like a little brother in the family, people keep slapping on. For those who fail, 6 a.m. tomorrow morning is gonna come early. We got a lot of coaches. Those are the coaches right here. We know the, we, we know the plays, we know what we're supposed to do. We, we are the coaches now. Camp is the time we come together and pretty much set our goals. Well, I was looking forward to this time of year. At the beginning, everybody's excited. I turned into a grind after a few days. Well, there will be a little bit of trauma, but hey, that's camp. Everything gets 10 degrees hotter. Uh, the hammer squeezes down on your head. I guess your head just gotta get used to it, man. Mine's so hard, got to soften up, getting a little wet right now. Hopefully by next week sometime it'll be all right. It took three days for Coastal Carolina to get outdoors for the first time. Practice is broken down to 10 minute periods. The coaching staff is always on the go, making every second count. The conclusion of each practice has head coach David Bennett with a different message every day. On day three, he went to CCU's past. I'm watching guys do reps. It takes me back to we had a guy that walked on it running back named Pat Hall. Someone always doing the extra. He works with Texas Instruments now, does real well. Some of y'all met him at Richmond. He get the ball, he take it to the goal line. He catch a pass, he take it to the goal line. Some of y'all catch it and say, oh, I don't want to run no more. He not only earned the scholarship, my man was the daggum most valuable player of the conference. And he walked on here. So when I say, hey, do a Pat Hall rep, do a rep all the way. Do the rep to the fullest. Everybody with me? So don't just do it to get through. That's not going to help us be champions. The competition is always open for starting spots, but for the most part, a lot of CCU's position battles have already been decided. The one glaring question mark comes at the most high-profile position. Every CCU fan wants to know who will guide the Shawna Clears offense in 2011. Don't know. Don't know, you know, you study him up back during spring ball and this guy completed 40% of his passes a day. This one did 50, this one did 30. There is no clear cut winner. The game continues, the battle continues at quarterback. I told Kevin Brown, I said, Kevin, you got a tough job, man. I'll try to help you all I can, but uh, it's a tough, tough battle there at quarterback, but I'm glad we've got some good candidates to, to fill the job. I gotta find out who it is. We need to find out probably the first 10 practices what my kind of goal in the back of my mind is. So that gives us a couple weeks to prepare for that first game against Furman. So um, hopefully it'll get settled in in the first 10 practices or so. But right now it is pretty much, you know, Amherst has got the edge because he, he graded out just a little bit better than Jamie in, in the overall 15 practices for the spring. So that's kind of what we're gauging it off of. But the first practice they'll have equal reps and then we'll go from there. Aramis Hillary arrived at Coastal last year from the University of South Carolina, backing up Zach McDowell and getting his grasp on the Shantz offense. Jamie Childers played at tight end in 2010 and continued to have reps at quarterback throughout the year. None of the QBs are getting caught up in the most talked about position battle of camp. All I'm going to do is look at what's in front of me and uh, do what, look, focus on what I need to do, not, not what, everybody, what all y'all think or what all y'all talk about. You know, it's not about me, but it's about we. Um, I think we use that in the quarterback position because, I mean, I know we know only one of us can play at a time, you know, other than, you know, Childers can play some tight end. We all, you know, pushing for each other because, I mean, only one of us can play and we try to push each other to be the best. 
um, each and every day. I think we all go into the film study and out there on the practice field and try to help each other out as much as we can. There you go, Dave. We'll take that. But I think it's been going pretty good. Uh, we got to be more consistent on the offensive side of the ball. Set, hunt. You got him at wide open. This day. Good job. Ah. I think our defense is great. Um, if we can, you know, play to the best of our ability, I think we'll have a good season this year. Indy 19, Indy 19, let's go, Indy 19. Indy 19. Rip, rip, rip. Set, hood. I mean, we got studs all over that defense. I think it's one of the, you know, great, probably one of the best defenses in the country. I, you know, I put them up against anybody. Um, it feels good, though, going against those guys every day and, you know, being being able to compete with those guys and, you know, just being able to um, to make some plays. Set, hunt. Win, Pookie, win, Pookie. Yeah. Uh, you heard what I said, though? Yeah. Win, kiss. He was kind of played a little close, and he was yeah. off. We should just let him run the choice and let you win on the safety. Yeah, but that would have been easy. Goal, so but he ran the goal, yeah. But that, but that's why I said you heard me when I took when I called this. Now I said win, Pookie. You know, cause I mean, I mean they're they're a great defense, and I know they're gonna make plays. But it feels good when we make plays, and I try to keep the offense hype as we can, and we try to play with as much swagger and confidence as we can. There you go, boys. Hey, stop and hold it, uh, Philly G. We're all we're all good quarterbacks, so our competition's gonna push whoever starts to be the best they can be. So we just we just want, you know, we help each other on reads, we help each other when someone does something bad, so we can just push each other to do the best we can do. It helps that we're friends off the field too. We're friends on the field and off the field. So when we go out like uh, outside of the football, any football setting, where uh, we can talk about anything with anybody, so it it, it helps out. Childers is a rare breed. After all, how many quarterbacks across America are taking off the red no-contact jersey and switching it out to battle with the defense? The list of combo quarterback tight ends is a short one, and Childers has shown while he'll be on the field in some way, shape, or form this season. I was, I was behind yeah. him like on our 40 and 41 alignment. Yeah. Like this. Now go ahead and cheat out or something. Yeah. You're going to have to. You're going to be able to get off. Yeah. Good job. Oh, keep it up. Almost. Look at him. Go. I don't like wearing the red jersey. I like wearing the teal. I'd be one of the guys. But you're fine with the contact and all that? I mean, most quarterbacks probably during camp would prefer not to deal with it, but you're, you're cool with it. Well, it's a work in progress. I'm trying to, trying to get better at it. I'm just, just uh, learning more and more about it. I just, I just started doing it last fall, and then I missed the spring, so I'm trying to get in the hang of getting the, all the physical stuff down. With the debate for 2011 centering around Hillary and Childers, the future of the CCU quarterback position is learning the ropes. Alex Ross comes to Conway from the state of Georgia and has already made quite a first impression. So this is going to be a little bit of a learning curve, but what I'm so excited about Alex is, is his work ethic. That's what we fell in love with him in the one-day camp that we had over the summer um, last year. Um, and that's what Gabe's, Gabe's talked about. He's one of the hardest working kids at any position on any team he's ever had in that weight room already. So that's what I'm worried. That's what I'm excited about is his work ethic, and he wants to be good. But Ross has to not only adjust to the speed of college football, but to master the CCU offense. Imagine trying to learn how to speak another language and then do it at full speed, executing at a high level. All these plays, pretty much. I mean, I'm, I'm I got the plays down pretty much. You know, I know know what the wide receivers are doing. It's just the signaling from the sideline it, that takes. That probably takes the most work. That's probably like learning a new language. Um, just being able to see those things and um, being able to know what they are just like that in an instant. Hey, come here, come here. This is your huddle. You got it? Uh, left Fox 74. Left Fox 74, left Fox 74 on NASCAR. Ready? Three. Chevy top, Chevy top. Ram, yellow basic, 400 torch on 101, ready? Charlie, over Snake, Charlie, Snake. Over Charlie. Tiger, over Charlie, Snake, Tiger. Energy Tiger, left, 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 left. 
I just tiger, red, red. I mean, blue, 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 blue. So it becomes black six against man with the two outside receivers. Does that make sense? Yeah. The learning extends beyond the gridiron. The Shana Clears will go from the field to the classroom to a totally different learning experience. Camp Bennett, all access at CCU Training Camp, is brought to you with limited commercial interruption from the Britton Law Firm. A special thanks to Tommy Britton and his partners, Mary Madison Britton Langway, Preston Britton, and Case Britton, for their support of Coastal Carolina football. Hello, I'm Tommy Britton. Along with my children, Case, Preston, and Mary Madison, I practice law here in Myrtle Beach. We're now known as the Britton Law Firm. We're all graduates of Walford College, but we're great supporters of David Bennett, Coastal Carolina football, and the great university Coastal Carolina has become. It's been a pleasure over the years to sponsor this program, the Britain Law Firm, all claims, trials in all courts. This episode of Camp Bennett is brought to you with limited commercial interruption from C.L. Benton and Sons and Osprey Marina. The Benton family hopes you enjoy the season at James C. Benton Field at Brooks Stadium. Thanks to the Benton family for supporting the Coastal Carolina football program. Every Sunday, the Shants have a team activity away from the football field. There might not be teaching on the field, but on the first Sunday, Coach Bennett was delivering another important lesson. Coastal received a tour of the J. Reuben Long Detention Center. That's the county jail. The players saw every level of the prison and saw what it was like to be in a cell. They were most surprised to see how confined and closed the recreation area was, where prisoners spend just one hour a day. Hey. Do you feel a little bit on edge? Not the best feeling in the world, is it? These guys get put in there for, for long periods of time based on behavior. Why do you think Coach Bennett made a trip here? Um, I guess to give us a first-hand experience about it. So, you know, it's, everybody can talk about it, but being here and actually seeing it is, I guess, gives you more of an idea and a better understanding. They're, they're a wonderful group of kids, fine young men with a, with a golden opportunity, and God's blessed them with a lot of talent. We just wanted to, uh, with Coach Bennett called, to show them the consequences if they didn't make those good decisions and what would happen with the opportunity. The one thing that people never realize about training camp, you know, Coach always tells us he's building boys into men. And when you talk about taking the young men to church and taking them to a prison and they're um, learning how to do interviews and they're having, uh, you know, positive thinking speakers and they're working hard, there, there's so much more that goes into the first three weeks of the season than just being out there on the field that prepares these young men for battle. For the second straight year, sports psychologist Brian Kane spent three days with the Coastal Football Program working on mental toughness to get ready for the 2011 season. If you're looking for one word that gets mentioned a lot during camp, it's grind. The grinding starts early in the morning and goes all the way to the end of the night. Well, we start our morning out with 8 o'clock breakfast. And we have meetings, workouts, and it's more mental than physical most of the day, so everybody got to come prepared for anything. The offense and defense rotate every other day in the weight room doing a workout specifically designed for their position. The players and coaches, they're not apart much. For three meals, the team eats together at the Commons. I'm not really supposed to eat sweets, so uh, I kind of have a strategy I like to use. You know, kind of put them in the plate like this. It's just a couple. I'm not going to get too many. I, I want to watch my weight a little bit. Can't tell it was ever there. Fools them every time. I can't believe you. This is like team fat right here, you know that? Only you would do that. You don't approve of this? I don't approve of this. He lived on my couch for this whole summer, and he used to put chips. He used to have chips and pour ranch all over the chips. But we got him out of that habit. We got, we got him in shape. He's looking pretty good right now. Do what I can. For Coastal's freshmen, they're not only getting their first dose of college football, but college academics as well. Every freshman is taking six credits of summer school, which fills up their mornings. 
Early afternoons are spent at the Garland Academic Center. Well, actually, uh, we're all enrolled in two summer school classes right now, so that'll give us six hours if we pass them. So that'll make, give us a big head start on our GPAs, and uh, we'll be ahead of the field come fall. Yeah, at times it could be hard to, like, spend time on each because we have, like, two finals coming up this week, and we're in, like, the beginning of training camp, so we're trying to learn new plays at the same time. So it's hard to study for finals and try to learn the new plays at the same time, but we're all working through it. Tom Pasiello is one of three freshman tight ends that have the ultimate tutor on the field in All-American tight end David Duran. Yeah, those guys um, have done a great job of learning the offense pretty, uh, pretty quickly. Uh, they've shown a lot of potential, so as long as they continue to improve, I think the tight end position will be set for years to come here. And how do you like the role of being the, uh, the tutor, the, the old Wiley veteran? I like it. Uh, these guys have kind of re-energized me a little bit with their energy and their excitement, so uh, it's good to have some new faces in the meeting room with us. On day four of practice, a scout from the Kansas City Chiefs was on hand to eyeball CCU's pro prospects. It's a sign of how much the Shawnee program has grown. With five former CCU players in the NFL, the scouts have Conway, South Carolina on their radar. Senior safety Marcus Lott was one player who's drawn interest from the next level. I always had a dream of going to NFL, one of my goals throughout my life, but uh, it just gives me the, the, um, the courage and the energy to just come every day and give my best effort because I never know, you know who's watching. I always try to be the best player for my teammates. Back in the day, you know, when I was here in 05, 06, the scouts weren't coming around. I mean, th those guys that are in the league right now kind of paved the way. It's pretty amazing for an NFL team to be at Coastal Carolina's training camp on day four, isn't it? Yes, it really is. I know um, my freshman year, I didn't even see one come out there. This year we had we had one so far, I heard com more coming. You know, it uh, just shows that since we made it to the play playoffs last year, you know, a lot of guys want to come back around and check this program out. The offense and defense pit against each other in seven on seven and 11 on 11 drills and take up most of the second half of every practice. The tug of war goes on throughout the camp with both sides getting their moments. They're, they're a good defense, and we keep competing against them. We're going to get better every day. It's about competition, so they're coming out and getting in our and getting in our grill a little bit. We're not responding real good. We're melting under the heat real quick, so see if we can respond in 11-on-11 11 11 here. Y'all get on Mark. He made a hell of a cut right there. Get on Mark. Good job, O.L. These are live. Mouthpiece in, chin strap on, head up. Do not tackle with your head down. You understand? You tackle with your face up. Face up. Do not drop your head. Everybody with me? Yes, sir. Let's help each other out. Let's go, get better. Go, Here, we go. Here, Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. With the players in full gear on day five, you take the heat, the humidity, and intense physical contact, and it brought about what would be considered a minor skirmish between defensive lineman Johnny Hartsfield and running back Marcus Whitener. That kind of stuff happened all the time. Like, as they, the defense is not allowed to hit the quarterback, and he touched the quarterback, so you know I had to take over my quarterback. You know what I'm saying? But after it was over, it was all good. Like in the locker room, me and Johnny talked, and we laughed about it. It's no big deal. And it led to the first dose of discipline. Hey, we're, it's about learning lessons, ain't it? You know, we don't go down and we're, we're out here on the practice field. We're not cutting our own people. And I know we did a sprint out, Pat, and I guess it was an instinct for you, but I gotta keep, we got to keep reminding you. So, and Johnny, where you at, Johnny? Johnny, well, Johnny is mad about it and a no, two plays later wants to go fight somebody. And what do we talk about? When one plays over, what do you do? You got to move on. So what? Next play. So what a classic example of what we're learning. Learning at Camp Bennett, in this case, a sled with 45 pounds on it, up and back the length of the field as a friendly reminder. You gotta have this. Ah. You will remember the cutting games after this, right? Uh -huh. Not in practice, only in games. Get out on this practice field. Take care of our brothers. Come on, get off your knees, Pat. <laughs> Come on. Man up in here. Sprint all the way through, all the way through, all the way through. There you go, baby. There you go, baby. I'm never going to cut again. You can, only in games, though. Not in practice. I'm out of here. Lesson learned. 
This episode of Camp Bennett is being brought to you with limited commercial interruption by Creek Rats in Merle's Inlet. A special thanks to Creek Rats for being a sponsor of the David Bennett Show for the past eight years. Great view, great food, the coldest drinks, and great beach music with the Band of Oz at Creek Rats in Merle's Inlet. Bring your lawn chairs and magic slippers for the Band of Oz, Sunday, August 14th. Summer concert series at Creek Rats Merle's Inlet, sponsored by Crescent Bank. Carolina football season tickets are on sale now. The Shana Clears are set to defend their Big South Championship, but we need your support. We've got a ticket package to fit any budget. Don't miss head coach David Bennett and the Shana Clears as they open the season September 3rd against in-state rival Furman. Season tickets on sale now. Call the Shana Clear ticket office at 347 ticks or log on to GoCCUSports.com. Make it Shana Clear. You support Coastal Carolina football. And so when you get out here, hey, Pat, you walk around a little bit, you're a little tired, you need to dream a little bigger. All you guys need to dream for your mama, your daddy, your grandpa. How about this? Dream for the children you're going to have one day. You understand? How many of y'all thinking about one day when you get married, the children you're going to have, and the life you want to provide for them children and your grandchildren? See? Some of you just think about myself. And that will hold us back from being great. When you're thinking about only myself. Oh, it's a little humid. How about it ain't that hot? Sun ain't. Sun ain't out. Dream bigger than yourself. The players take pride in representing their hometowns and families. And family always takes priority over football. Defensive back Josh Norman missed three days of camp after his mother was involved in a car accident. Mom had a freak accident. Um... Ran to another car and she's doing fine. She's doing okay, but I just want to, you know, take a few days off, you know, make sure everything was okay with her. You know, all my brothers came down and, you know, it was just around at that time. But you know, always, man, you you have God, family, school football. Trey Henderson is the Shana Clear's other starter at cornerback. He wants a special senior season, but he won't have his dad in the stands. He left for Afghanistan during camp. I never had my dad not be in none of my games, so it just motivated me more to even play even better and play with the team and have a great year and make sure these seniors go out the right way and just be, you know what I'm saying, try to do the best thing we can do and win the national championship, not just the conference championship like we did last year. Was this his first time over there? Yes, sir. He actually just retired from the Navy during 20 years, and now he's doing a little contracting job over there, so he just left today, so it's going to be kind of hard, but we're going to get through it. Hey, Scott! Hey, Scott! Hey, Scott! Hey, Scott! Hey, 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 hey! Funny ones, put it on it. There we go, there we go. You good, you good. Mullins native Deshaun Davis lost a scholarship at Newberry College, a victim of a numbers game and a coaching change. He was one of the last invitees to camp at Coastal in 2010 and figured out a way to stick on the roster. Deshaun is a, a great one. Uh, he's come here on his own, earned his uh, own way. He's worked hard to turn himself into a player. I can't say enough good things about him. When it was his turn to speak at the end of a team meeting, Davis opened his heart to his brothers. This uh, past spring, my mom lost a job. So, you know, I was kind of disappointed. Said, I don't know what I'm going to do, man. She's, she's paying for my school. Uh, what I'm going to do? I got to start working. I told Coach Drake what the situation was. She said, don't give up, man. Just, you know, keep fighting. So I finished out the spring. Come to the summer, I had three jobs. I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning, <clears throat> get off that job at 10, from 10 to 3.30, I come out here. 3.30 to about 11, 12, I go to Under Armour, my other job. Just working, trying to support me and my family. <clears throat> I remember the time meeting, uh, Jamil said, come on, we, we got to go to the bank. I got to uh, get my mom and my brother some money and give them all what I got. <laughs> so he deposited some money in their account, and he only had $3 left. He was like, you hungry? He's like, yeah. He's like, man, I'm hungry too. He's like, I only got $3. So me and him went to McDonald's, got a burger piece. So right then it hit me. 
if he was able to spend his last three dollars on me, that's the type of teammate I want to have. Jamel Davis shared his last three dollars with Deshaun Davis. He calls him his cousin, even though they're not related. Deshaun's not playing for himself. He's playing for his family, and he's playing for his teammates, paying them back one play at a time. With my HTC wireless phone, I'm always connected to the world around me. Whether it's simple everyday things like a call from a friend, a text from my daughter, or even an update to my Facebook status while I'm out and about, HTC connects me with the things that mean the most. HTC is your wireless headquarters for back to school. Get three months of HTC residential high-speed internet free with new HTC wireless service. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. Great view, great food, the coldest drinks, and great beach music with the Band of Oz at Creek Rats and Merle's Inlet. Bring your lawn chairs and magic slippers for the Band of Oz, Sunday, August 14th. Summer concert series at Creek Rats and Merle's Inlet, sponsored by Crescent Bank. Hey, I'm John Nizzle. Here's what's coming up next week on Camp Bennett. You wait, what? Wait, get in the way. Get out. Hey, look, hey, look. When the water cold like this, you can't play with you just got to go all in. You got to die. He's a scout now with the 49ers. He wants to see you, uh, four guys when you're done and just say hey to you and meet you, put a name with a face, see how you respond, how you carry yourself. So when you do good things, guess what? People go to bat for you. Yes, sir. I'll go to bat for you. You won't be running after. I appreciate just it. Just do it earlier. Yes, sir. All right. And we'll know how to love. <laughs> Anybody ever told you you could sing? No, nah, I I, I didn't think so. <laughs> yeah. My mom says not to sing, only in the shower, when nobody can hear you and the door's locked. Woof. <sighs> Son, can you get a haircut and lose about, about 10 pounds? <laughs> huh? You've been eating good over the summer, hadn't you? Coach, we need a fat kid. I didn't have any food over the summer, Coach. got some cheeks on you, boy. I've always had these cheeks, Coach. Mm. Hard but it's fair. If you don't like it, join the band. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a presentation of WPDE Sports. For more local sports, log on to carolinalive.com. Carolina football season tickets are on sale now. The Shana Clears are set to defend their Big South Championship, but we need your support. We've got a ticket package to fit any budget. Don't miss head coach David Bennett and the Shana Clears as they open the season September 3rd against in-state rival Furman. Season tickets on sale now. Call the Shana Clear ticket office at 347 ticks or log on to GoCCUSports.com. Make it shot to clear. You support Coastal Carolina football.